Hello, 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 and welcome to the Southern Belle channel. I'm your hostess, Southern Belle, and this is the Bargains by Belle Variety Auction. I am so thrilled that y'all have chosen to be here tonight. I know that we are all busy people, and there are absolutely so many choices. Oh, my TV on YouTube. So thank you ever so much. Welcome Crochet Queen Kathy, um, my new junior moderator, Miss Shelby, Jennifer Chesney. Welcome, welcome. I would like to go ahead and start by giving a few channel announcements. The first announcement is that um, tomorrow we will have yet another auction. It will be at the same time, 7 p.m. I've now moved all my auctions. We're there at 7 p.m. No more light night auctions. Um, so I hope everybody will join me tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We will have lots more um, items. It will be a total variety of items. And then on Monday, we have my game show, Battle with Belle. And on Tuesday is the Viewer's Choice Auction. And the theme that y'all have voted for this week is Sensational Spa Secrets. And I've got some wonderful items, skin care, hair care, deodorant, shampoo, body wash, body scrub, lotion, hand cream, you name it. Everything you need for every part of your body. Hello, Erin Scott. Welcome, welcome. Oh, prayers to you. I hope that you feel better. I understand recovery is a process. And sometimes just sleep and rest can be God's way of helping you to heal and recover. So if you accidentally fall asleep or just aren't in the mood for it because of your recovery, I will understand. It won't hurt my feelings, Kathy, but prayers to you. So um, let me go ahead and tell anybody who might be new watching how this works. Oh, and y'all go ahead and give me a thumbs up, pretty please. That helps me ever so much. So um, if you've never bought anything at any auction anywhere from me before, then what you need to do is fill out the registration form, which is pinned to the top of the chat. The reason you fill it out is so that I know where to send your invoice and I know where to mail the items that you've bought. It's easy peasy that way. Um, once you filled it out, you are more than welcome to bid. You bid in numbers in the chat. I know it is so tempting to sometimes bid in words to say things like, yeah, I'll take that. Or if nobody else wants it, or just add it to my bill. But if y'all would do me the courtesy of just bidding in numbers, that helps so much. If you want to type some of those words or sentiments with it, then that's fine. Mighty fine, in fact. So um, the methods of payment that I accept are Zelle. Zelle is my preferred method of payment because there are no fees. I do, of course, take PayPal as well, although PayPal has big fees and even charges fees on shipping. But I take PayPal because that's how I can accept your debit cards, your credit cards, your MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. Um, they even take Venmo now and a few of those other programs. I don't even know what they mean. Uh, PayPal is also my system for accounting. So regardless of method of payment, and that's where I uh, fill out the forms in order to keep up with the items that you have bought. Happy birthday, Erin. Let me finish telling all the rules and then I will sing happy birthday to you, Erin. So um, the method of shipping that I use is called Pirate Ship. It's a discounted shipping service that works with both UPS and USPS to get the lowest rates. It calculates the discounted rates based on three criteria. Um, the distance from your zip code to mine. I'm shipping from a suburb of New Orleans, Louisiana. The weight of the package and the dimensions of the package. Okay, well, let's celebrate Aaron's birthday. So, Aaron, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aaron. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aaron. Thanks for spending a little bit of your birthday with us, sweetheart. We're so glad you're here. The bidding increments for my auction are just a low $1 bidding increment. But I have a special round called Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And during Bell's Bargain Bonanza, what we do is we plummet the starting bid to just $1. And we plummet the bidding increments to just 50 cents. Now, this is just a short round at the beginning just to reward those people who log on early at the start of the show. And it's also a round in the middle to reward those that just keep watching. But at the very end, I have a massive, deeply discounted clearance round where for items that were complete and total passes, I will plummet the price just to get it sold. So make sure you stay around to the the end or back at the end after all there is a replay um so that you can see those great deals be some sub pretty please okay go ahead and give me some thumbs up pretty please let's see who's ready to begin I say, laissez bon temps, roulez. Let the good times roll, roll in your life, roll in your heart, roll in your soul, roll on and on and on. Now, for those of y'all looking for my moths, I wanna let you know that Canadian girl Renee had to work today. Lisa's going to be here, although Lisa is driving home as quickly as she can from work. She just happens to end her shift at exactly the same time the auction begins. And, you know, it does take a few minutes to clock out and take off her chef coat and get in her car and drive home. But she will be here and... And even my managing moderator, Karen, who is still on bed, is trust. so she should be able to stop in towards the end of the auction. And let's see, is Shelby still here? Shelby, if you're still here, let me know. Otherwise, we will just get started anyway. And if somebody wants to help me, great. And if not, I will let the moms get the pieces when they arrive. Okay. So, Shelby, if you would, I'm going to let you mod in until an adult gets here or unless we have a volunteer from the audience. So, just go ahead and type in Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And then just stay, then write starting bid $1 for choice. Those two things, and we will get started. Well, Labor Day is coming up soon, and I know everybody's going to be dressing up for those barbecues and fireworks. So I have a couple, a few Labor Day Bell's Bargain Bonanza items. So let me show you what I have first. This is a glow-in-the-dark tie. It is eight inches around, although it has several connectors, so it is adjustable. Shelby, honey, try to type in all caps. Um, I've got three of those available. Uh, also, for ladies or guys, have these glow bracelets. These have an eight-inch diameter. And let's see. Oh, you get six. Six in here. And I've only got one of those. But when you're standing in the dark watching the fireworks, how fun would it be to have something glowing? So we're looking for $1 starting bid for choice. Thank you, Shelby. So the choices are an American tie that glows 
or a set of six glow bracelets, all of which are brand new and sealed. And there's still time to get it mailed off to you by Labor Day. Let's see if there's any interest. Okay, we can pass on these then. Okay, next I've got this pretty tinsel garland. It is sparkly and gorgeous. Um, it's got little um, pumpkins on it. Not sure if you can quite see them. Um, I've got two of these. Here's one. And where's that second one? Oh, don't you run away from me. And here's a second one. So we'll see if anybody is interested in this. It almost looks like gold and black on the camera, but it is orange and black. Let me see if I can see it a little bit better orange and black. Great to wrap around something. So I've got two of these. Tinsel garland. There's Lisa, finally home from work. Okay, any interest in the tinsel garland? So good to see you, Lisa. Hope you had a good day at work. Aw, thank you, Lisa. Lisa must have been listening during the drive home. Well, y'all don't forget to click the thumbs up for me, pretty please. Okay, in these garlands. Hi, Miss Phyllis. Miss Phyllis, you can tell Renee that we're missing her, but we understand that sometimes she has to work. Okay, last call on the garland then. All right, next I've got some cute little pumpkins. Um, these should be way more than a dollar, but because they have initials on them, I know sometimes it's hard to find the right initial. Whether you're looking for a first initial or a last initial. Um, those of you who watched my last auction saw me get a K and I gifted it to my moderator, Karen, who popped in and surprised me. So this one is a W. Uh, I also have a J. I have a Welcome Friends. Now, what I tell you about this Welcome Friends, this is a plaque to put on something else. Um, it doesn't have like a particular way that it sits up. It's just a plaque to put on something else. Likewise, I have Thankful and Grateful. But once again, you glue them on to something else. I'm guessing these were originally glued onto something. So, because it looks like my mother must have glued it on and then ripped it off because she didn't like the way it looks because I'm guessing this is marks from hot glue. I don't know. But anyway, um, likewise, you could glue this on something. So I thought I'll just throw these fancy signs up for a dollar and see if anybody has a fun crafting idea. They might be good for a wreath. You might make a little frame around them. Who knows? So, looking for a $1 starting bid. Uh, 
These would be some good craft projects or the initials. If you know a person with a W or a J would be super cute hanging around their doorknob or maybe in their cubicle at work, their locker. Pardon me. Okay. Any interest? We're going to do a last call on these. Last call, Lisa. Okay, we'll pass. Okay, next, I've got a two-piece carving set. You get the little saw and you get the scoop. Tiger, tiger, welcome. Oh, mega love shout out to you too. I so appreciate you stopping by, you saying hello, giving me a thumbs up. And everybody else, give me a thumbs up too. So this is the first item. It is a pumpkin carving set. You get the saw and you get the scoop. That's the first choice. Second, I've got some gel window clings. Gel window clings. And you've got a cup of coffee. You've got a leaf, a uh, sunflower, a uh, steaming cup of, it says fall, so I'm not sure if that's pumpkin latte. If you're up north, it might be hot cider, might be hot chocolate. It could be anything. So these are beautiful gel. And let me remind everybody that not only do gel window clings work on windows, but they'll work on your fridge, your washing machine, anything metal as well. Okay, Kathy's in for a dollar. I have several of the pumpkin carving sets. I only have one of the gel window clings. Okay, we are sold to Kathy, and she picks my one and only gel window clings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, anybody for a two-piece carving set? Any interest in the carving set? Okay, last call on it. Okay, we will pass on that. Next, I've got a craft item. It is, let me back up the camera because it's a bit big. This says, um, 
seven mesh canvas, seven mesh canvas. So mother had this in black, in navy, uh, kind of a medium blue. Well, if I can show all the colors here. Uh, a dusty kind of grayish blue, a baby blue, aqua, emerald green, kind of an orangey red, mauve. Oop, oop, don't fall, don't fall. Let me scooch y'all together. A brown, hot pink, clear, and yellow. Okay, so tons of colors. No clue what she did with this, but I'm not here to um, lecture y'all. I'm just trying to liquidate Mother's Craft stuff. And most of these she had multiples of. Some of these I may be down to a one and done, but most of these she had multiples. Okay, Lisa says they're good for making Kleenex box holders. Okay. I was going to guess that mother made some kind of book or maybe some kind of Bible bookmark because these just kind of look like a um, vacation Bible school craft kind of thing that she would do, but I could be wrong. So um, you, they're huge, by the way. Let me get out my ruler. So they are larger than the ruler. So they've got to be longer than 12 inches. Hello, Spirit Junkie. So nice to see you. Everybody, welcome, Spirit Junkie. I met Spirit Junkie on another channel, and she was nice enough to come give my auction a try. Hopefully, she is just going to love, love, love all of her purchases when she gets them. Okay. So, um, this is what we do here is Spirit Junkie. You don't need to register because I already have your information from shipping. Um, at the very beginning of the auction, and we're at the tail end of this section, we have a special auction preview round that we call Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And during Bell's Bargain Bonanza, I plummet the starting bid to just $1, and I plummet the bidding increments to $0.50. Cents. So this is the very last round of it, the very last item of the last round. And then we're going to start the actual auction. But it's just a ultra bargain round um, to reward the people who show up at the very beginning. But we do also have another Bell's Bargain Bonanza at the middle of the auction. And then at the end, we have a clearance. So that's what's going on here. So that's why these items are just $1 for choice. Oops, it looks like my moderator has decided we will pass. Okay. Yes, it's a good reason to stay till the end of the auction because items that were complete and total passes, I will pick a few to bring up. I let the audience pick a few for me to bring up and I will plummet the prices of those items to get them sold off. So if anybody has any regrets about this item or anything else in the Bell's Bargain Bonanza, you can always let my moderators know. You can um, email me or Discord message me. My Discord link is in the description and my moderator should also be uh, dropping that link. But I'm going to clear this off. And I tell you what, we will do one more item for this Bell's Bargain Bonanza because I hate to shut it down when we have somebody new, especially somebody I um, just met. So we'll do one more item and then we will 
Oh, sorry. I guess we won't because Lisa's already ended it. All right. I will save these items for the next one. Put them over here. Oh, should have done the bigger items first. Okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. All right. So let's start the auction. Les bon temps roulez. Let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your, your soul. Roll on and on and on. Okay. Here's the first item. It is a lovely sign. It has a wooden bottom to it. Um, wooden back. It's got a cute little bow. And the words give thanks are in glitter. If you see the background, it's kind of made of a burlap type material. And it also has this beautiful piece of art, which is lifted. So I'm going to start this at three bucks. Starting this at three bucks. Catherine Mary, welcome, welcome. So good to see you. And hello to Mr. Jim, if he's also watching with Catherine Mary. So $3. I have just two of these. Imagine how pretty this would be um, sitting on your bookcase, sitting on your desk. It's got a little tiny bit of glimmer and shine and bling. There's Mr. Jim. So $3 for this gift. Thanks. Great for fall. Also great for Thanksgiving. Imagine this on your buffet, on your foyer. Great way to welcome your guests and to remind them to give thanks both that day and every day because God is good all the time. Okay, any interest? And y'all give my moderator, Lisa, some help. This is her first time running the chat. She's my newest moderator, but Renee is having to work late until 10 p.m. tonight. And that's 10 p.m. Mountain Time. So Lisa is stepping in in order to run the chat. And Lisa is also making the list too. So if anybody has questions about what they bought, how much, needing to double check to make sure it's right, the um, invoices come from the data that Lisa records. Okay, we will pass on that then. All right, let's see what we have next. Next, I have this massive bag of 24 of these pumpkins. And these are little pumpkins that you can fill up. If you want to hide them, you can. If you want to give them out with candy, you can. You're going to get a total of 24. I'm going to start these at $3. Three dollars for 24. Four. They're still completely sealed. So this way you can fill them up. You could fill them up with candy. You could fill them up with coins or money. You could fill them up with some kind of scavenger hunt note. So just think of all of the things that you could fill them with or all the places you could hide them. Oh, hi, Mr. Adventure. I hope you're doing well, Mike. Thanks so much for helping out. Mr. and Mrs. Adventure running the chat today. Thank y'all so much. And we've already got Mr. and Mrs. Sword out here too. I love that it's like couples night here at the Southern Bell Channel. Okay, any interest in these pumpkins that you can fill? It's an entire pack of 24. 24. Great for giving out treats or for scavenger hunts. And they've got a sweet little smile, not scary at all, especially for younger um, kids. Okay, we're going to pass on those. All right, next for all of you with pets, I've got a pet hair remover roller. 
look how well it works. It's going to work on both dogs, cats. I bet it would even work with there. Um, so let me tell you all about it. We're going to start this out at five bucks. It says it easily removes all hair. It's a self-cleaning system. It's an eco-friendly material, has an improved handle, a big collection bin, and there's no need to replace parts. I am so glad you say that, Catherine Mary. I think we're going to have fun tonight too. So looking for a starting bid of $5 and you can see how well it works. It's a nice size too. Not huge where it's going to take up a lot of room to store, but um, enough that you can get a big section done at a time. And y'all let me know know what things you'd like to see if you want to see household items maybe you want to see uh stickers maybe you want to see lights maybe you want to see uh a halloween or fall items and um table runners y'all let me know i've got tons of stuff around me and you'd hate to miss out on some good stuff just because you were too timid to tell me what you'd like to see any interest in this pet hair removal oh thank you for the thumbs up but the best place to give a thumbs up is on the youtube so y'all go ahead and click the thumbs up hopefully we've at least gotten to 10 by now and that helps me ever so much with the youtube algorithm it lets youtube know that you approve of my channel and my content so that they can share it out with other people. Also, you can press the share button and share it out on your YouTube community page, on all your discords, including mine. If you're not already subscribed to my discord, the discord link is in the description and also mods should be dropping it as well. Um, you can also share it out to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and even Twitter. Oh, Lisa, thank you for for the fleur delays. Okay, any interest on this? I'll tell you what, maybe I start this a little high. Let's price drop this to four bucks. Four bucks, because I have a bunch of these. So we'll price drop this to four bucks and we'll see if the price drop is going to help anybody. I see Lisa is dropping the Discord. If y'all haven't already joined my Discord, Discord works live. Like YouTube in that you can join as many YouTube channels as you want to. You can join as many Discord channels as you want to. And mine is G-rated, friendly, and has a Southern theme, just like my YouTube. It's the best way to message me. Also, it's a way that you can promote your favorite videos and get the inside scoop. So price drop. Price drop down to $4. Let's see if we have any pet lovers that need a pet hair remover roller. Anybody want to remove some pet hair? Lisa, did you get that price drop? Also, y'all, make sure if you're on a computer that you're on live chat. If you're on the phone, make sure you're on all chat. And always make sure your red line is pulled all the way forward. And sometimes you just need to refresh. But when you refresh, you will have to reset to live chat or alt chat. Okay, last call. Lisa, did we ever get this in at a price drop? Okay, we can pass on this then. Okay, next, let's see what we'll do. Oh, it's falling, falling. Okay, I've got some beautiful tapestries. We're going to start these at $6.00. And when I say tapestries, I really mean tapestries. Sometimes people just call all table runner tapestries, but you can tell by looking on the back that it really is woven because the color will be different. 
So we're going to start these at six for choice. This is the first one. And look at these cute pumpkins. It says open daily. This is what it looks like in the picture. So this is going to be the first choice. Oh, by the way, these table runners are 13 by 68 inches. So they are not small. Even if you have a super, super long table, whether it's your dining table, whether it's your buffet table, maybe you just have a massive table um, in your, or even those folding tables or a picnic table, it's going to work for you. So that's the first choice. Here's the second choice. It says home, sweet home. And you'll see these sweet little pumpkins, apples, fall leaves. Here's what it looks like when it is on the table. Pretty, pretty. And last but not least, for all of those truck lovers out there, look at this gorgeous green truck tapestry. And the truck is filled with cute pumpkins and some leaves, of course. And here's what it looks like. We can get it to focus in. Okay, so those are the three options. So let's see if there's any interest in these fabulous tapestry runners. Any interest? Well, maybe I started these just a touch high. Let's price drop Lisa down to five bucks. What do you say, Lisa? Five bucks? How does that sound? Does that sound better? So, Lisa, we will price drop. Price drop. Price drop. Okay, let's see if there's any interest now. Uh, she'll be doing another donation opening very soon. Although she was on my game show on Tuesday and we had a lovely time. She really gave me a, a run for my money. She was a great player, wasn't she, Lisa? Okay, last call on these tapestries. Okay, next I've got a solar light. And I don't want y'all to think it's this short. Let me show you how these work. Here is the actual stake and you put it in and then it becomes way taller. But for shipping purposes, you invert it and put it in so that it doesn't take up so much room. I only have one of these. I'm going to start this one at two bucks. Here's the solar part in the bag. Here's this little tab that you take out when you're ready. It's brand new with tags. So I'm looking for $2 starting bid. How cute would this look? Maybe in an outside pod or even an inside pod if it were in your kitchen window where it could um, get the light. 
So looking for a $2 starting bid for this solar pumpkin. Yay! Thank you for all the fleur de lis, Catherine Mary. Woohoo! Okay, any interest in this solar light? Brand new, that's the front. Here's the back with the solar panel. Okay, we will pass on this. Next, I've got some of these five foot spider webs. It's a 60 count light and they are LED lights. We're gonna start these at five bucks and look at the beautiful spiral. The lights have eight functions. So these are for indoor use. They are purple. They're battery operated. And you even get the plastic spider in the center. So imagine when um, your kid wakes up and it's, wait, boom, you put this in the hallway or boom, maybe this is leading up to a family room or a kitchen or a dining room. This could even, you know, you could take down a piece of artwork or a tapestry and you could put this up for the holiday season because you'd have this tremendous 60 count LED five foot spider web of beautiful purple lights. And it even comes with a spider spider in the center. How cool is that? You could turn your home or even a single room into a haunted house. And I do have multiples of these. Any interest? So this is not small. It covers five entire feet. And it has a 60 count of lights and the lights are LED and purple in color. Okay, we will pass on that. Here's the next item. It's this cute sign that says boo, and it's made of wood. Here's the back. It's wood as well. It's nice and thick and sturdy, and it says boo. We're going to start this at $5. Lisa, are you with me? There we go. I love how clear the word boo is. And I really love um, how detailed the house is. It's really very eye-catching. It'll look great on a desk or a um, buffet, a bookcase. Oh, the spider webs were five bucks. Um, I can go back. Here they are. It was five bucks. 
and it's a five foot spider web, 60 count lines. I'll just put these both and it can be a choice for five bucks. How about that? Choice for five dollars. And I have three of these spider webs that are purple lights, 60 count lights, LED. Okay, Kathy's in for five. Thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, I've got five, uh, five, I've got three of the spider web sets. So y'all let me know how many you want. Three are available. Lisa, let's count this down pretty please. And then Kathy can decide how many of the three she might want to buy. We also have this beautiful wooden sign. Lisa, make sure you're on live chat or all chat if you're on your phone. Let's count this down. There we go. Thank you, Lisa. And we'll see if Kathy wants one, two, or all three. Joanne, welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. Everybody, welcome, Joanne. She bought for me from another auction, and I invited her to come check out this auction. Okay, she wanted to add to her purchases for combined shipping. Because you can buy from me on any channel, and I'll do that. Just one. Okay, here's one of these sets going to Kathy. Anybody else? Anybody else? So for $5, you can have the wooden sign that says boo, or you can have the eight function five foot spider web in purple with a 60 count LED lights. And it even comes with the spider in the center. Anybody else interested? Okay, we're going to pass on this and we'll go to um, a smaller light because somebody may not need a light that's that extensive and I can understand that. So we're going to drop the price down to $3 and I've got these battery operated. Um, it's a 10 count and they're orange and they look like pumpkins. How cute are those with their little smiley face? So I have a few of these little packets of lights, um, but I also have one of these lights. It's got an on off switch on the back. Here's the battery power. So these are your two choices at the $3 price point. I can make it stand up, there we go. So you have a choice of the 10 count of lights or this one bigger light that has six light up parts to it. Looking for $3 starting bed. Oh, 
Oh, thank you for the thumbs up, Mr. Adventure. Y'all all, all pl pretty please click the thumbs up. Oh, Lisa's bidding. Okay. Now I'll let you know of the small ones. I have one, I have two, and I have three of this bigger one. I only have one. Both are battery operated. Well, let's go ahead and count this down to Lisa. Sorry, Lisa, you'll have to count it down to yourself, sweetie. Well, do y'all want to see more fall things or are y'all ready to look at some different genres? Hello, hello, Mike. For those of y'all who may not know, Mr. Adventure is Lisa's husband and his first name is Mike. Oh, and Lisa, I have to tell you, that dumpster dive score that you released in that video this week, that was epic. That made me hungry for chocolate, especially since it was, was the expense of fancy brands. Okay, Lisa, tell me which one you bought. Okay, Mr. Adventure wants to see more fall. I will keep bringing it then. Okay, tell me what you bought and what quantity. But still to come tonight, I've got some plumbing items. I've got stationary items. I have some decorative um, hair accessories. Lots of good things still to come. Okay, the string lights. Here we go. Wait, one or two. Was that, I'm not sure if one was a typo or two was a typo. Now you've got me all confused. I know y'all are saying you started out confused, you Southerners. Okay, I'm going to guess that she means two of the string lights. If not, when we're doing invoices, she'll correct me. So that leaves me one of each left. Anybody want to get in on this th great $3 deal? Great $3 deal. Okay, last call. Last call. Y'all remember to click the thumbs up if you would for me, pretty please. Next, it's going to be $5 for choice. Look at these cute wooden signs. This one says trick or treat. The hanger is made of these gorgeous wood beads that are natural. It's also got this lovely um, string with these wooden pumpkins on it. You'll see it's got a wooden base. The back is wooden. So $5 for this trick-or-treat. But there is also a happy Halloween with these cute little ghosts. How cute is that? So that too is an option. It's also got the beads. So $5 for choice. Trick or treat or happy Halloween. You know, you don't necessarily have to put a wreath on your front door. You can put these kind of colorful signs on your front door, but these are also great for entryways, for back doors, even just for propping up on a bookcase or a buffet. Hi, Amy. So nice to see you.
Ellen. Uh, thank you so much for those uh, cute emojis. Those are just darling. Okay, so I've got $5 for choice of these signs. I do have multiples of these signs in case anybody might need a matching set. I tell you what, maybe I started these a little high. I dropped these to four bucks. Four bucks. Well, they're not too scary because look, there's a happy face here. See, smiling face. So that's okay. And if you look at these uh, jack-o'-lanterns, they're smiling too. So I did try to find some that aren't too scary so that they would be family friendly. So we're going to price drop these down to four bucks. They are wooden. I just love these cute little strings of the wooden characters. Let's see if anybody's interested. I do. Thank you for noticing, Shelby. I keep trying to work on growing my channel. Okay, Amy's price dropping for me. Thank you so much, Amy. Making Lisa's life easier. Okay, any interest? If not, we will pass on these and we'll go to some other stuff. Okay, last call. Okay, next, I'm going to build some plumbing stuff. I don't know if my dad had this just in case or what. Um, Y'all don't ask me any tough questions because I'm just reading the package. But a lot of times it's good to have some replacement parts just in case. I'm going to start this at $10. This is a flush valve. It's an American standard. And it is the short seven inch overflow tube, easy installation. And apparently there are a variety of languages. And this is what it is. Y'all know, it's this part that has the little thing that sticks up and it's got the chain. And you never know when you might need to replace one of these. It's from Plum Pack. So I'm going to start this at seven bucks. Oh, look, here's all the information on the back in case you ever need to install it. So seven bucks. Brand new sealed. This says three inch, but don't ask me what the three inch is. This says seven inch overflow. Don't ask me what that means. This is a no questions kind of an item because y'all, I just don't know squat. So looking for $7 a starting bid on this whole plumbing kit. So if you ever think you might need to replace this little thing that opens and closes, because we all know that the most important part of the toilet is actually getting it to flush. Hey, Amy, better being able to lower it than... Um, having to raise it up. So it's okay. Thank you so much for coming in to help Lisa and our love. We're sending out to Renee while she is stuck working this late shift, but we will see her tomorrow. Okay. Any interest in this for seven bucks? I looked these up online and they retail for way, way, way more than that. Are y'all not in the same room where y'all could just talk it over? Okay. 
See, I picture them sitting next to each other watching the show, just like I picture Catherine, Mary, and Mr. Jim sitting next to each other on the sofa watching the show. But I guess sometimes even couples in the same house might be in different rooms. Okay, apparently Lisa is bidding. Uh, Mr. Adventure, you know you have bidding privileges too, right? Uh, you don't have to separately fill out the registration. You're you're good. Uh, I know your name and address. Danielle Barnes, welcome, welcome. If y'all liked the beautiful uh, neutral thumbnail that Danielle made for tonight's auction, y'all make sure and let her know. But I've got to tell you, one of the most spectacular thumbnails is coming up for tomorrow. It looks like um, ice blue prismatic glass. One of my favorite thumbnails ever is for tomorrow's auction. It is just gorgeous. And Danielle is a true digital artist. So I am so grateful for those thumbnails. Well, let's count this down because it's such a specialty item. I don't think people are going to be fighting over it. So let's count this down. Pretty please, Amy. So we can get this sold to Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. Hopefully they don't have some urgent need. Hopefully it's just in case. And then after this, I've got another plumbing item that some of you might want just in case. And if you would, y'all, please give me a thumbs up. I got to ask Danielle to give me a thumbs up, both under her Danielle Barnes and under her other Queen of Editing. So when she stops back in with her other account, you'll note it is still Danielle. She's just trying to help me out with more thumbs up because hopefully it won't be long till we get to 20. Okay, we are sold. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. All right, next I've got a set of 10 stencils. Look at these gorgeous stencils. So there's one with bats. Well, two bats. Oh, it's like a husband and wife bat on the moon. Then you've got a big bat. You've got a rest in peace. Look at that cute little boo. A spider web, a woman with a pointed hat, maybe a vampire, perhaps uh, a ghost. Okay, so you're going to get 10 stencils. I'm going to start the 10 stencils for five bucks. That's only 50 cents a stencil. Lisa, you might need to refresh. So let's see who needs a set of 10 stencils. Looking for a $5 starting bin. And just look how beautifully they turn out. So you put the stencil on there and then you start carving. Great way to make your pumpkins turn out excellent. Amy, thanks for helping so much tonight. I do have two of these sets. And I did have a carving set even earlier tonight. Okay, we will pass on this then. 
All right, next I have a, another plumbing item. This is from Fluid Master and it's called a flapper. And this has a universal fit and it is stainless steel chain. And I'm not sure if y'all can quite see through it. You might can. Here's the little stainless steel chain. Here are the instructions on the bag. So it doesn't include as much as the other one. Um, it is just the flapper. So if your flapper isn't getting a tight seal and it's not holding in the water until you want to pull the chain and let the water through, here is the replacement flapper. The flapper is kind of like the lid to the um, toilet chamber. So I'm looking for three bucks, three bucks for this new sealed Fluid Master flapper. So with this flapper, you could be the master of your toilet fluids. So we'll see if anybody needs this replacement part. I actually have two of these. Okay, Lisa's in for three. But keep in mind, most people have multiple bathrooms, so if you need it in one, you might need it in both, because usually um, if one starts breaking down, they both do. You know that old saying, when it rains, it pours. Uh, the bid was $3, and we've got three from Lisa. We're looking for four. Otherwise, we'll just count this down and see if Lisa wants one or both. All right, let's count this down. We'll see if anybody else wants to get in on this. Let's just try to keep it moving, moving, moving so that we can sell more stuff and people aren't having to wait too long between items. And we'll see if the adventures want one or both. Okay, sold to Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. Lisa and Mike, do y'all want one or both? Both. Okay. So here's both. All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Okay, Amy, we're going to be doing choice auction for two bucks. Let me show y'all all the fabulous choices. I've got these big pumpkins. Look how big these are. These were four bucks, but you know what? I'm going to put these on sale for just two bucks. And look how nice of a plaid they are. They're also stuffed. Do you see how they're stuffed? And they're a plaid, which is really novel. They've also got this nice stem, too. The stem is acrylic. So that's going to be the first choice. Second choice is I've got a huge 15 inch, no, feet. Is one hash feet or inches? Okay, in length, stretch spider web. It's for indoor or outdoor. It stretches up to 200 square feet. Can you imagine how far this would cover? It could cover your whole house. It could cover your whole driveway. It could cover your... Um, shrubs. It could cover your the space between your house and your neighbor's house. So you finally don't want them walking into your yard or looking into your yard. Put up this enormous 200 foot spider web. 
Okay, that's going to be the second choice for $2. Let's see what else I have. Next, I have these... Um, Oh, they are air fresheners. And not only are they air fresheners, but they spin in your vent. So air fresheners that spin in your vent. And I think I have two of these. I do. I have two of these. So let's see if there's any interest in those. $2 for choice. So you can get a plaid pumpkin. It's a nice big size. You can get a huge spider web that expands to 200 feet. Or you can get an air freshener that spins when it's in your vent. Thank you, Amy. So I do have multiples of each. I've got two of the air freshener. I have two of the spiders. And I have a bunch of the plaid pumpkins. Just looking for two bucks. And yes, y'all click the thumbs up for me, pretty please. Any interest? Okay, we will pass on these then. Okay, next, I'm not sure if anybody has an air fryer. I almost didn't know what these were. I had to open this up and read what it is. Apparently, it is sheets that go in an air fryer, apparently. And and uh, this, and I guess this kind of lines it somehow. I, I don't really know. Um, I'm just guessing. So I'm going to start this at three bucks. So you get a whole bunch of these in here. And this will help keep it uh, clean and lined. So looking for three bucks. Thank y'all for the Fleur de Lis. And yes, I am so blessed by my mods. Okay, Joanne's in for three. Anybody for four? I guess Joanne has a air fryer. I hear that they make everything delicious and healthier. I only have one of these available. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll get a mod. Multiple. There are no multiples of this. I try to get multiples of a lot of things, but this is a one and done. So looking for $4. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start counting this down. Thank y'all all for the Fleur de Lis. But y'all don't forget to also click the thumbs up. That helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm. And yes, Joanne is... Um, uh, registered to bid, so it's all good. We can accept her bid. I've got all of her information for sure. So we love having new pe people here at the Southern Bell Auction. And because I'm still a small channel, you can get some great bargains. Good. I'm glad to make your life easier. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Adventure have an air fryer too. Okay, I must be the only one without an air fryer, but I always hear good things about them. I've heard it's an especially good way to do like um, fries and onion rings and um, chicken. OK, 
Okay, well, let's count this down pretty please. Let's keep moving. Let's try and move a little bit faster like we normally do. Because this is a one and done. Wow, almost every day. Well, I can understand if it's healthier and it's saving you from actually frying. That that makes sense to me. You always hear about those people who buy appliances and then they never get around to using them. So I'm glad that y'all have found something you like so much and that it's one of those things you don't just haul out for a, a specialty occasion, but that you use it often. That's fun. Mighty fun, in fact. Okay, did we count this down? I'm going to guess that we did. Yes. So sold. Congratulations to Joanne. Okay, next to continue making your life easier, I have this set of dusters. Now this compares to Swiffer. Um, it's by Clean Touch. It traps and removes dust from surfaces. So what do you get? You get the handle and you get three uh, disposable duster covers. And here's how it works. If y'all haven't used these or easy peasy, you just slide it right on. It's absolutely easy to figure out where you slide it on. I use one of these all the time. So I'm going to start this at three bucks because you get the handle and you get three of the covers. And you can use the covers lots of times before you finally dispose of them and swap it out. It's not, not a single use. You can use them many, many, many times. Especially if you're just dusting a little bit here and dusting a little bit there. I do have two of these sets. Okay, are y'all with me on the dusters? Once again, it traps and removes dust from surfaces. It is great for quick cleaning. It's safe on electronics and it's easy to find refills. All of the refills fit all of the dusters. They're completely universal. So looking for a $3 starting bid for these kits. I only have two. Then after this, let me know what you'd like to see. I've got more um, interior decor. I've got tape. I've got I've got crafts, I've got stickers, I've got hair accessories. Did we ever get the information about the dusters put in? It's a duster kit for $3. There we go. Thank you, A. So once again, you get the wand and you get three of the dust covers. any interest. Okay, we will pass on this then. Okay, next I've got this tape. Take a look at it. Not sure if you can see. It's by the company 3M. Do y'all know 3M? And what kind of tape is it, you say? Well, let's take a look. It is 3M double-sided tape. It is heavy duty. It is three millimeter for mounting and waterproofing. It's also for a foam tape. So I'm gonna start this at two bucks. Two bucks. I do have two available two available. So 
So let's see if anybody needs some mounting tape, some double-sided tape by the company 3M. They also make command hooks. Y'all also remember that at the middle of the auction, we'll have a second Bell's Bargain Bonanza. Oh, Erin, um, she's out diving right now, filming a video. I'm so sorry. But I'll let her know after she's back, but um, it'll probably be super late. Okay, any interest in this double-sided tape by 3M? Okay, well, we're going to do choice for $3. Let me show you what the choices are. Here's the first choice. It's a learn and play, paint your own 3D pump, and it's a llama. And you can see how you get to paint all of the puzzle pieces, and this is how the puzzle pieces fit together. Um, it also comes with the paints. Does it come with the paints? Yes, here we go. This is what it comes with. It comes with a paint brush. It comes with three paint pots. It comes with two wooden puzzle sheets, which are 23 pieces, and it comes with seven wooden dowels. So that's the first option. Second option. is this make your own photo frame. Look how cute this is. And you can see that it looks like it actually makes multiple photo frames because I see a purple one in there and an orange one. You get little pom-poms, you get stickers, you get glitter sheets. So that'll be the second option here. Then let's see what else we have. Okay, I've got a Create Your Own Llama, and they are in foam. And once again, you can see all these foam sheets. You can see all of these um, llamas that are already pre-cut out for you. So that's the next one. Let me put these together since they're llamas. And then last but not least, I have this DIY wall hanging kit. And it says DIY to match your decor includes three plaques, one tassel, one yard cording, and instruction sheet. So if there's anybody out there that likes the um, moon and the stars, there we go. And here's how it looks on the back with all of the pieces included. Kind of a celestial theme. And one last thing, I have uh, these monkeys. So you've got the big monkeys down here. You see, you get three different colors. And then we have just the monkey heads as well. So you're going to get, let's see, seven pieces total. Great to put on things or for scrapbooking, for junk journaling, um, to add to a sack or a notebook. So those will be the choices at the $3 price point. Lots of great crafters choices.
you, Amy. I'm so glad you like them. These would be so fun for kids to do or maybe a kid and parent project, a grandparent and kid project. Especially when it's just too hot to get outside or maybe it's a rainy day or maybe it's just a weekend at grandma's house. Oh, these are super cute. Look how cute these are. And I love that it's not just this package or this package, that you get both packages. And I actually have two sets of these. See, here's the second set. Okay, any interest? Oh, she does. Imagine that. Well, I tell you what, I'm not much into crafts and I really want these crafts to move. So I tell you what, we will price drop these down to two bucks. So Amy, price drop, price drop. Okay, so of these five choices, um, we're going to price drop them down to two bucks for choice. Let's see if we can't get these sold. Because if y'all know anything about me, y'all know I'm not craftsy. And some things, if I could possibly use it, then I will just save it. But this craft stuff, I would never use it. <laughs> so, but my late mother sure did love it, especially these kids. So we're going to price drop and see if we can get some of these sold. So if you've been on the fence thinking, is it worth $3? Is it not worth $3? Is it worth $3? Is it not worth $3? Maybe taking it down to just $2 is going to help you decide. Okay, Lisa is in for two. All right. Anytime we do a price drop, it automatically becomes a buy it now. So let's see what Lisa picks. She's picking the monkey. Did you want to buy just one or both? I do have two sets. So let me know one or both. Let's see if she wants one or both. Both. Okay. Sold to Lisa. Anybody else? I've still got llamas. I've got the set of two photo frames. And I've got this uh, moon and stars uh, DIY wall hanging. If anybody likes that celestial theme. We'll do a last call on these. Okay, well, let's pass on this. Okay. Next, I'm going to show these to you, and you might not know what they are. Until I ordered them, I didn't know what they are. Did y'all know that there are stickers that can repel mosquitoes? I thought that these were so novel because you just peel them off and put them on your child's skin. And I've got some in the circular design. I've got some in the square design because kids like to wear stickers and this is going to help them from getting getting um, bitten and infected. So I'm going to start these at three bucks. You're going to get an entire pack of 36. 36. So you can choose between the square or the round. The round has cute little animals on it. The square has cute little kids on it. 
Now you can absolutely use these for adults because mosquitoes don't know if it's an adult or a child repelling them with this sticker. But I thought this was just such a novel idea. You know, sometimes it's hard to get kids to um, wear it any of the mosquito repellent because it just smells bad and they don't want to take the time to get the sunscreen on and get the bug repellent on. It is so simple though to just peel the sticker and stick it on their arm or their leg or um, their neck or you know wherever even on clothing. So let's see if anybody is interested in these bug repellent stickers. Remember each pack is 36. And, you know, as adults, if we have a problem, we wear a patch or we wear a Band-Aid. So why not wear a sticker just to repel mosquitoes? Okay, last call on these. We will pass. Okay, next, who likes bling? Do I have anybody out there that likes bling? I saw these and I thought that these were just so pretty. Get it out here. Oops, oops, oops. This is bling, not for your hand, not for your body. This is bling for your car. For your car, this is a ring of bling that goes around your power button. So in order to adhere it, you just clean around your power button and then you use the seals, which are included in here, and you dry before using. It's got a one-year extended warranty. So let me take it out and let you see how gorgeous it is. So I'm looking for $3, $3. So here's the ring of bling, and we've even got some seals to put it on. Oh, look, it was from Amazon, although I got it from a liquidator. So just in case you mess up with the first time, then you have a few backups, and this is the ring. It's just fun and dandy, Lisa. Thank you for asking. Okay, so looking for $3 starting bin. Oh, Joanne has one in pink. Well, you know, I absolutely thought about getting one in pink, but then I thought, well, that might limit it to just women. And there might be some studly guys who want uh, to use the clear. So... Or I have one friend who, even though she's a girly girl, she just doesn't like pink. She's more into um, purple and blues. So, and I think Amy's signature color is red. So it's hard to know when I'm retail arbitraging what color to get things in. So I just thought I'm going to go with these crystals. Because after all, if you're going to wear... Um, $3, Amy. If you're going to wear bling on your hands and your earlobes and your neck, why not on your car? And Joanne clearly agrees for her to have one. So looking for $3 starting bin. I've only got one of these. So this is a one and done when it sells. That's it. Also, maybe you've got a teen and they couldn't afford a new car, but that doesn't mean you can't get a little bling for the inside. Because after all, even on a used car, you can put some cute little um, rugs and steering wheel covers and car seats and a little bling like this and get it all fixed up. 
plus an older car has more reasonable insurance prices. Okay, any interest? All right, we will pass on that. Next, for the crafters, I have this three pack of glue. It's by Crazy Art and it's washable glue. So just in case your kids want to make a mess and touch the wrong thing with it, I've got washable glue. Uh, but I'm going to make it a choice. And I've also got this Glade Plugins Car Refill. So if you need a refill for your car air freshener, here it is. Well, if it doesn't sell, I might have to install it in mine. I absolutely love my car. Uh, for those of you who may not know, I drive a Prius, although my Prius is 13 years old. Um, but it gets such great gas mileage that I hate to get rid of it. But it has seen better days. So I keep thinking I should get another car. Okay, so the second choice will be the Glade Air Freshener Plug-In Refill. And then last but not least, and I don't know how to explain this to y'all, this is a roll of, let me see if I can show y'all. I don't know if it's going to show on camera. Can y'all see that these are glue dots? Can y'all kind of sort of see the circular idea? These are something called glue dots. Don't ask me what you use a glue dot for. Maybe some kind of photo or scrapbooking or craft thing. I don't know. But you get a lot. So these are glue dots. Oh, Joanne, that makes me feel so better. Joanne says her car is 24 years old and she loves it. Well, I don't feel so uh, disgraced and shamed then by having a 13-year-old car, but it gets me where I need to go. You know, a Prius gets 60 miles to the gallon while other people are filling up. I'm putting in a, doll, a dollar. I'm putting in just one gallon now and then, and I, I just love it. So... I always joke that it's gas sipping rather than gas guzzling. So apparently you're a girl after my own heart. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay. okay. Last call on these items. Oh, we're Toyota sisters. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. If y'all haven't already clicked the thumbs up, please, oh, please do so. That helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm. So I'm looking for $2 for choice. The choices are a big roll of these glue dots, a three pack of washable glue sticks, or a Glade plug-ins refill. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what the scent was. It is Hawaiian Breeze. Hawaiian Breeze. Okay, last call on these. All right, we will pass. Next, it's going to be $3 for choice. And I've got some fun books. This is an extreme dot to dot. It is the original hand-drawn puzzles to complete and color. Um, if you're not familiar with how to do them, this is how it works. They have these tiny little numbers. And what you do is you get your ruler and you draw the lines from 527 to 526 to 525 to 524 um, just in order. And as you slowly but surely connect them, they make pictures. You can tell this one's making the Eiffel Tower, but this is all of the little numbers and then it makes pictures. 
so super fun. Likewise, you can see how slowly but surely they connected these dots and it made a Ferris wheel. So books are going to be $3 for choice. So the first choice is going to be this extreme dot to dot. And this is truly a challenge made for an adult. The next one is going to be advanced mazes. And what kind of mazes are in it? Well, they have circular, bridge, triangular, hexagonal, and warp. So you're saying, oh, a maze, that's so simple. That's for a child. No, 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 no. Look at the difficulty level. Here's a hexagonal one. Once again, this is an adult level. Here's a maze. Here's another maze. Here's a warp maze. And they're called warp because they have these little um, characters in it. So that's going to be the second choice, looking for a $3 starting bin. And last but not least, I've got this, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And it's got 240 questions um, based on Jeff Foxworthy and the Epic Game Show. So questions that we all should know. Here's a geography question. Dormant volcano Mount Hood is located in what U.S. state? Or a lever is a simple machine that pivots on a point called a a fulcrum, b levy, levy, or c pulley. And of course, the answer is a fulcrum. Um, so an entire book of 240 questions. So I'm looking for a $3 starting bin. Oh no, has, has my chat frozen? I'm not seeing any new um, messages. Y'all let me know if you can hear me for some reason my chat seems to be frozen and now i'm buffering y'all let me know if you can hear me also if you could kindly give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that so here at the three dollar price point i do have multiples the choices are the extreme dot to dot the advanced mazes or are you smarter than a fifth grader hmm i don't know why i'm not seeing the chat move i'm gonna refresh so if you see me buffer for a minute that's why Okay, it looks like apparently there were comments. It just wasn't updating on my stream yard. Okay. All right, any interest in any of these puzzle books? Sometime I might have to use this, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Maybe during one of my Monday night shows, but it might be a little harder than with my contestants picking their own categories. Okay, we will pass on this. All right, let's see, what should we do next? How about some stickers? Okay, I've got three, three different types of stickers. These 
each are rolls of 500. I'm going to start these at $5. Oh, I had them upside down. So here are the first ones. Look how cute these are. These are all fall ones. Super cute. So 500 stickers for $5. That's just a penny a sticker. And these are new and sealed. So this is the first choice. Here is the second choice. Super cute, lots of pumpkins. And I've got a third choice even. Here's the third choice. These are a little bit bigger. So let's see if there's any interest in these. $5 for choice. That makes it just a pass. know why but my chat seems to keep freezing let me see if i can look at the chat on youtube maybe my apologies everybody if i'm somehow missing your to I'm going to try just one more time to refresh here on StreamYards.
Okay, any interest? Otherwise, we will clear these out. Okay, well, maybe y'all didn't need a big set of 500. I've got two sets of 50 here. We're going to start these at $2 for just, you'll see you've got lots and lots in here because 50 is still a good amount. They have a self-adhesive on the back. You just peel it and then stick it. Uh, these have to each one. So we are looking for $2 for choice. So these are great for on treat bags, crafting, scrapbooking. Also, y'all let me know what you'd like to see next. Okay, we will pass on the stickers. Let me show you some beautiful canisters. I've got two different designs. I've got a welcome to our pumpkin patch, and I've got a hello fall. These are both metal. So therefore, I, I do sell some canisters that are um, ceramic or glass, but they are so heavy to mail. And let's face it, paying shipping is no fun. Um, I will have some things that are ceramic or glass later in the show, but I wanted to let you know that these um, canisters are metal. We're going to start these at $5.00. This one says, Welcome to our Pumpkin Patch, and it's got a truck on it. And uh, we'll have some at the next Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And you'll see it's completely new and clean on the inside. Here's one that says, Hello, Fall. Here's the inside. So looking for $5 for choice. Any interest? Well, maybe I started these a little high. Let's price drop these down to four dollars, pretty please, for choice. And if you're saying, oh, but what would I do with just one? I'd need a whole set. I do have multiples available. So if you need a whole set, I have a whole set. And that's not a problem. I'm just showing you one of each.
Okay, let's see if there's any interest. Otherwise, we will go on to something else. Okay, last call on these. Next, we're going to have some air freshener refills. So we've got several different scents. Let me back up the camera here. Uh, these are by Airwick, and we're going to start these at uh, four bucks. So here's the first one. It is pumpkin spice. Also, these are essential oils. So if you want to just use them as essential oils, you absolutely can. So that's the first choice. Second choice is fresh pine. Next, we have apple cider donut. So you get the fruity scent of apple as well as the sweet scent of donut. Yum, yum, yum. And then last but not least, I've got apple cinnamon. So maybe you want the spiciness of the cinnamon with the apple. Okay. So four delicious scents. But if anybody's out there, you'd prefer to see Glade instead of the Airwick, I can bring the Glade instead. I just happened to grab the Airwick. I think that these are a great way to scent the home. I know sometimes people like candles, but if you have pets or children, sometimes candles just aren't an option and these can plug into the wall. And I just love having a, a wonderful scented home. To me, that's one of the things that makes it warm and inviting because you want it to be pretty on the eyes. You want it to be great smelling for the nose. You want it to have pleasant sounds in the background for the ears. That way it is a delight for all of the senses. Okay, we will pass on these. Y'all let me know if you'd prefer to see the uh, Glade instead. Otherwise, let me show some candles and some wax melts. I've got some farmhouse pumpkin wax melts. Let's see, you get uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. You get ten of these. I'm going to start these out at the low price of two bucks, and we'll, we'll see where the bidding goes. I only have two of these. So looking for $2 for the farmhouse pumpkin wax melt. Oh, I want a donut too. I was thinking that not necessarily an apple cider uh, donut, maybe just a glazed donut or a donut with chocolate, a maple donut with the bacon crumbled on top. Ooh, banana cream. Ooh, even better, Boston cream. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm chasing rabbits here. Okay, looking for $2 for um, this huge set of wax melts. Okay, if there's no interest, we can pass. Sometimes I like to show both the designer option 
and the store brand option. So in refills, I have the store brand option and I'm gonna do these, I'm gonna sell these for only three bucks. Three bucks for a two pack. Now you're saying, well, what am I gonna do with the store brand? First of all, this is pumpkin spice and nutmeg. How many of these include nutmeg? Not enough. So let me show you um, how they work. These work with both Glade and Airwick. So if you have the problem that my parents have, which is you can't remember if you have Glade or Airwick and you can't remember which rooms have Glade and which rooms have Airwick, they started buying these because these are so universal they will fit either. Oh, wait, we're going back to the wax melts. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, Joanne. I always forget there's a lot. Okay, so let's count this down to Joanne and we'll see if she wants one or both. I do have two available. So let's count this down to Joanne and we'll see if she wants one or both. It's going to smell like Joanne is uh, cooking pumpkin pie and she's not even going to have to get off the couch. <laughs> I love when there are easy ways to... Um, do complicated things. That smells great when you bake, but if you can throw a square on the wax melter instead of hours of standing and cooking. Well, Joanne's finding some great bargains. I am so glad she came to my auction. And y'all all make sure to make Joanne feel welcome. Okay, and she's going to take both. Wonderful. Okay, so back to the um, store brand of the air freshener refills. Um, we did the national brand at $4. I'm going to do this two pack of the store brand for three. So this way you are saving money and these look a little taller, like they have more in them, but maybe that's just my... Um, eyesight. So it's pumpkin spice and nutmeg. And as I was showing you on the back, they work with both Glade and Airwick. So if you're thinking, oh no, I'm not sure if these are going to work with mine, they work with both. And I personally have used these so I can tell you they do work with both. And it shows you how to install them, although it's really simple. You twist off the cap and just shove it in. So we'll see if anybody is interested. I do have multiples of these. So $3 for the two pack. We'll see if there's any interest. Let me take a quick little sip of water and stay hydrated. Lots of great stuff still to come. Okay, we can pass on this. Let's see if anybody's interested in candles. Now this time, instead of showing you the national brand at one time and the store brand, I'm going to show you both. So here's the Glade. It says pumpkin spice things up. It's a two pack. You can get the two pack for $4. Buy it now. Or you can get the store brand pumpkin spice for three. Both are going to be buy it now. So if you type in a four, you're buying the pumpkin with Glade. And if you type in a three, you're buying the store brand and just put a times and the number you want. So if you want two, then you put four times two. If you want three, put three times three. So the uh, first number will be whether you're buying the Glade for four or the store brand for three. Because some people care about brands. Some people just care about a good scent. They are all in beautiful glass. So if you're looking for a little romance, if you're looking for a great scent, here you go. I personally love to light candles when I take a bath. 
So I have a little ledge in my windowsill and that's where I put them. I know some people will put them around the tub, but I've got long hair and I'm always worried about setting something on fire or accidentally turning it over. So I find that if I put them in the uh, windowsill, it works well. Um, although I've lived other places and sometimes there isn't a windowsill and sitting them on the back of the toilet has worked okay for me. Okay, last call on the candles. And as always, if you change your mind about something and want to order later, you can always let me know or let one of my moderators know. Okay, I have a little bit of yarn tonight. So here is one color of yarn. This is some oranges, greens, yellows, whites. And I've got this one in a baby pink and blue and white. So this is going to be $2 for choice. $2 for choice. And this did belong to my mom. And you know what? I'm going to throw in one other item. I've got this big bucket. So I'm going to also put it $2 for choice. And if you're saying, oh, that big bucket, that's going to be huge. I'm going to have to get a big box. Well, if you're buying little stuff, I can pack the little stuff inside the bucket for you. So therefore, it doesn't really take that much space up. If you've got little stuff, I can put in it. Okay, Lisa's in for two. But this would be great to hold your Halloween candy, or maybe you have a child going trick-or-treating. They could put the candy they get into it. I also think this would be super cute on a porch with a plant inside. Because just swapping out your planter or your pot can suddenly make a plant look fall or festive. So I leave all of my plants in the little uh, plastic liners and I just swap them from pot to pot to pot um, when I'm going from spring to summer to fall. Well, let's go ahead and count this down to Lisa and keep the auction moving, moving, moving. Okay, we are sold to Lisa. Let's see which one are ones Lisa picks. Oh, Joanne does that, but she uses artificial plants. Well, that makes a lot less watering. I tell you, with these over 100 degree temperatures that we've been having, like today, the heat index was 112. I've just basically been hibernating inside. Okay, Lisa's going with both yarn. Great choice. Okay, anybody for this super cute little bucket? Anybody for the bucket? Okay, we will set this aside. All right, I've got a two-pack of these really thick wooden um, pumpkins. I'm going to start these at $5. These would be a great project. Let me show you how thick they are. They've got a hanger on the back. So if you want to leave them like this, you can. Maybe you want to stain them. Maybe you want to paint them. Maybe you want to cover them in bling. You could do anything with them. And I like that they have the hanger to them. So you get the entire two pack. It could be a his and hers, or maybe you have two kids or you have two twins. 
One to keep and one to give away. Oh, it's okay if you're not good with real plants, just as long as you're good with real people. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Okay, so, and these, did you see how thick this wood is too? You know, the prices of wood have just been skyrocketed. Also, look at the beautiful striations in the wood. It's just lovely. So, looking for a $5 starting bid on these. I do have multiples of these. Any interest? Okay, we're going to pass on that one then. Next, here is another cute sign. It says pumpkin spice things up. And once again, it's wood and it's a thick wood too. Here's the back, just plain. But look here, they've got a um, raffia bow. Uh, also, there is a galvanized metal piece. And each one of those have all of those special facets. You know, sometimes things are just plain wood, but these have really dressed it up. Oops, I'm too close. So I'm going to start this one at $5. I only have one of this. Only have one. Okay, we're going to do this and one more item, Lisa, and then we will go to the BBB round. Thank you for the reminder. And I love that these are plaid as well. You know, sometimes we talk a lot about the buffalo plaid, which is the um, red and black. But I think that these fall plaids are super cute and fashionable as well. Last call for these. And then we'll go to our BBB round. For those of you who are just joining for the first time, the BBB round stands for Bells Bargain Bonanza. And what we do is at the very beginning of the show for all of our early birds and at the middle for people who have stayed to the middle, we have this fabulous round we call Bells Bargain Bonanza. And while we have um, a varying degree of different starting prices, and we have a dollar bidding increment, we plummet that for the super short Bell's Bargain Bonanza. So during that special round, all starting bids are down to a dollar and the bidding increments plummet to just 50 cents. Now you're probably saying, well, why don't you have one at the end just to keep people to the end? Well, let me tell you, we have a clearance round. And what's a clearance round? A clearance round is where I pick a few items and the viewers pick a few items that were complete and total passes. And we plummet the prices on those just to reward those people who stayed all the way to the end. So we're about to start our second Bell's Bargain Bonanza and the clearance round still awaits at the end. So lots of great things yet to come. Okay, we will pass on this and we're going to go to the Bell's Bargain Bonanza just as soon as Amy gets it typed in. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh. 
All right, I'm gonna start with these super cute little pumpkins. Now I'm gonna have these in different colors. Uh, they're all brand new with the tag. They are made of kind of a felt-like material, but let me show you what's special about them. They have a stem, they have wooden beads, and they have a leaf in a coordinating fabric. So here is one in burgundy. Of course, I have one in classic pumpkin color. Also, I have one in yellow, kind of a mustard color. I've got green and look at the, oh, it's trying to get away and come to y'all. I've got one in um, this lighter color and even the leaf is lighter. And last but not least, I've got this one. It might look white. It has a, a slight tone of um, a light green to it. So looking for $1 starting bid. These are all um, stuffed. So if you want to just use them for stress, you can, but they are gorgeous decor. Just sitting on an end table, sitting on a table, in a basket, lining a mantle, even down the center of your table. And I've got multiples of each, so maybe you need five in pumpkin or five in green. Um, maybe you need uh, ten in yellow. I've got plenty. Also, I have one in blue and white. This one is styrofoam underneath. So it's not squeezy, but it's blue and white. So it will be an option as well. It's a one and done. All of these back here, I have multiples. Any interest? Oh, last call on these. All right, let me clear these off then. Okay, next, let's see if anybody needs some children's toothbrushes. Um, this one is in pink. Oh, and I also want to show you, it has this little uh, suction on the bottom so that it will stand up. And they're cute little bears. I've got a green and I've got a purple. So three colors, pink, green, and purple. Looking for a one dollar starting bid. So I love that the bottom acts as a way that it can sit towards the end of the counter so that a kid can um, get it easily. And these are soft toothbrushes, by the way. Okay, Lisa's in for one.
school. Let's go ahead and count this down. Don't forget to give me a YouTube algorithm. Okay, Lisa's going with the pink one. Anybody else? Always important to keep swapping the toothbrushes out. If you're maybe a weekend parent, a weekend aunt or uncle, weekend uh, grandparent, always good to have a spare toothbrush for when that little one visits. Okay, last call on these. Uh, somebody had asked about snacks. I have Doritos. I do want to let you know that the date is August 15th on them. And Fritos. Once again, August 15th. I have three of the Fritos and just one of the Cool Ranch Doritos. So as a choice, I'm going to add this gel cling. It says Happy Halloween. Not sure if y'all can see it or not, but I'm going to add this to as a choice as well. Oh, good to know, Erin. Hello, hello, Karen. Hope y'all had a good movie tonight. So looking for $1 starting bid for Fritos, Doritos, or the Happy Halloween Gel Cling. And y'all remember to show some love to my moderators. They work so hard trying to help me out and they do a great job. I so appreciate their time and energy and commitment, even when they have other stuff going on in their own lives. Last call on the chips or the window clings. Lisa's in for one, okay. Anybody for a dollar fifty, or anybody in for second choice? One of the things that makes my auction different from other auctions is it's not just a matter of being in or out. If you um, want to get in for second choice, it means that you paid the same amount, but you don't get to pick first. So if you think that that person with the winning bid might pick something else, and you want to gamble on being second choice, that you might get that item you really want. You can absolutely be in for second choice at a Southern Bells auction. Do you mean one of each type or do you mean the duplicates? Because I have, let's see, three of the Fritos. And one Cool Ranch Dorito. So let me know if you mean one of each type or all four. And Lisa, I'm not going to throw the chips into the hamper so that other stuff doesn't land on top of them, making them into chip dust. I'm going to 
set them elsewhere, don't get crushed. So remind me that they're not in the hamper. Okay, it looks like we are sold to my moderator, Lisa, Miss Adventure Time. I still have this Happy Halloween left. It's a window gel cling. Anybody interested in it? Last call. Okay, we will pass on this. Next, for those of y'all who like, to be organized. I have these um, personal size um, bulletin boards. Um, it's got a nice clear surface. Here's the back. It's got a uh, felt on it. So also as, as a choice, I have some uh, push pins because you're you might need some push pins to go with this so if you want to set up a schedule here you go maybe you want to make a dream board or maybe one of your kids or grandkids wants to make a dream board um, maybe it's a travel itinerary where you start planning it out maybe you're even planning something for youtube or whatnot so this is not huge it is personal size which is why um it's only a box but let me get my ruler out so that you can see the size. So you'll see it's about 12 inches. So a nice personal size and it's only a buck. Also, uh, push pins, whether you use the push pins with this or something else, um, they're available for a buck as well. Any interest on the bulletin board or um, the push pins? And thank you again to my moderators for helping me out. Tomorrow it's going to be Canadian Girl Renee running the chat. And Lisa will be back to make a counting list for. Um, invoices and PayPal. So everybody's doing a little something different tonight. Okay, we will clear this off then. Next, let me show you what we have. It's going to be choice. The first choice are these straw cleaners or clean inside a straw you know bacteria can grow inside a straw well i have a two pack of straw cleaners so that's going to be the first option i only have one of those how in the world do you clean in between the keys of your keyboard i've got a keyboard cleaner can y'all tell i like things neat and tidy Okay, next I've got this fabulous notebook. Look at all these sheets of the notebook, but it also has a fidget. So when you are trying to think about what you want to write next, about what you need to uh, put on that list, look how you can sit and fidget while you're writing your notes. I think that that's fantastic. Next option, I have this cute little ball. You can see it's covered with suction cups. So if you want to put it on the windshield of your car, if you want to put it on the inside of your bathtub and kids can play with it during bath time, that's going to be an option. Next, I've got a huge multi-pack of eraser caps. Great for school. 
that's the next option. And last but not least, I have this uh, gardening tape for wrapping up and holding your plants. So that will be the last option. So let's see if any of those appeal to anybody. And y'all let me know the kind of stuff that you would like to see, and I'll try to bring it up sooner rather than later. I may not have the exact item, but I usually have something in the genre. So it always pays to uh, tell me what you're looking for. Got some great choices here. Once again, the choices are a straw cleaner, a uh, keyboard cleaner, a... Um, strip of tape that wraps up plants, a notebook with a fidget pad, a uh, toy that grips on either to a window in a car or to the bathtub, and a package of eraser caps. And Amy's right. Y'all don't forget to click the thumbs up. Pretty please. Okay. Any interest? Are y'all ready to get back to the auction? Okay. Last call on this and we will get back to the auction. All right. Passing, passing. So that will conclude Bell's Bargain Bonanza. How about a few stationary items? Okay, I'm going to start with this magnetic list pad. It has 60 sheets in it. It says the priority list for big goals. And you'll see on the back, it's got a magnet. Oh, we will miss you, Kathy. So we're going to start this at two bucks. Two bucks for this nice long, long list pad. I do have two of these available. Also, I have this package of 72 adhesive dots. I'll make that a choice as well. Oh, I understand. I, I hope you're feeling okay. We hope to see you tomorrow, Kathy. I tell you what, I'll add a couple more choices. So we have these two and we have this one. Um, I've also got this one that says today's plan. And you'll see there's a to-do list and there's even a place for a brain dump. So the things that you need to think about later or um, remember or notes. And last but not least, I've got one that says, make it happen. And this one has a um, section for the super important. Uh, then do this and chill, this can wait. So, but just so that you have it on your mind, even if it can wait, sometimes you still need to just get it down on paper. So now you have four choices and I actually have two of the make it happens. 
So this is great if you're giving the kids a list, the grandkids a list, maybe you're giving that spouse a list. Even for college kids going away and they need to keep up with what assignments and reading they have to do for each and every one of their classes. And of course, you could use it for a grocery list. Any interest? Okay, last call on these. Okay, we will pass on these then. Next, let's do $3 for choice, please. And let me show you what the choices are. Here's the first choice. It is this huge stack. Can y'all see how many are in here? Of sealed recipe cards. So they have room for the recipe um, and recipe title, um, who it's from, the date, the prep time, which is very helpful, the cook time. You can even rate the difficulty in stars, which I've never seen on a recipe card before, um, the number of people it serves, and the ingredients. So if you're thinking of um, getting some recipes from maybe that grandma or that aunt that has the special recipes you've been dying for, all you have to do is give them this card and wait for them to to turn it in. Or it could be the opposite, where your gift to somebody else for Christmas or their birthday is that cherished recipe they've been asking, asking, asking you for. So maybe you write down your special fudge recipe or your special lemon bars recipe, that secret to your meatloaf. And here you go. You can give it out as a gift. So that's going to be the first choice for the $3 price point. Second choice is going to be this great Hello Fall sign. It's kind of big. So let me see if I can get the camera back. Let me put this up here. Maybe y'all could see it better. And then for the third choice, we're going to have this ceramic painting kit. So you'll get this cute little uh, boy here. It comes with the paintbrush. It comes with the three pots of paint. So that will be your third choice. So $3 for choice. Hi, Renee. So good to see you. I thought you were working tonight, but I'm glad you've joined us now. Okay, so the recipe cards, big stack, this Hello Fall sign, which I can't get it all in the picture because it's tall, or the painting set with three colors and a brush. Oh, on your last break. Okay. Well, thanks for popping in, sweetheart. That's super kind. I so appreciate that. Okay, last call on these. All right, we will pass. Let me move the camera back. I've got a long, tall sign. It says, it's fall. Play. 
fall. Now, I can't possibly get this whole thing in the picture. I'm going to lay it kind of sideways, just trying to get it in. Um, $3 starting bid. Also, for $3, I have the stone pumpkins, and therefore outside. And they've got a little bit of weight to them. They're not going to blow away. I've got two of them, and it's got a gorgeous... Um, stem. And I do have two of these in case you need a matching pair, maybe for one of each side of your porch, or maybe you've got a landing on each side. So if you're one of those people that likes to be matchy matchy and ceramic and um, ceramic and um, even then I've got you. And after this, why don't we try some hair accessories? And I've got a new way to display them. We'll see if it goes better than the last way. Okay, any interest? Last call. Okay, we will pass on these then. Don't fall. Okay, let me show you some of these sparkly, gorgeous hair clips. These are going to be $5 starting bid. Now, the last time I showed some of these, somebody kept saying, well, how do you do it? And I kept trying to show the back and explain, and they didn't quite understand. So I developed this new system. At first, I thought about showing on myself, but I realized there's no way I could get my head in front of the camera, especially since I need to show the back of my hair in order to show this. So I got this idea. Let's see how well it works. I brought, I got a wig stand. And just for demonstration purposes, at the liquidator, I picked up an inexpensive wig. So this is brand new. I don't want you to think that it touched anybody's hair. It didn't. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes because I wanted to put it on something clean. So this is brand new with tags wig that I'm going to demonstrate on. But let me throw it here, and this way you can see how all of these hair products fit, if I can get it on correctly. And also, you can see that this isn't a really long wig, so even if you don't have super long hair, it's still going to work for you. So let me show you how this works. This is easy peasy. You just maybe want to gather up some of the front so it's not hanging in your eyes. Boom. And look how pretty it looks. So sometimes people think, oh, you have to have super long hair. But this model doesn't have long hair. Now, maybe you're saying, oh, I'm not really into purple. Do you have it in other colors? Yes, I have it in other colors. Let me show you what other colors I have. Maybe you like black. And this really has a lot of silver in it as well. It has a little bit of blue in it as well. So this is what the this one looks like. Oh, 
we'll miss you, Renee. Thanks for stopping in. I also have one in this coppery color. So now granted, you would not wear this many at a time. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. So looking for $5 for choice. So it's really like jewelry for your hair. Look at how sparkly these gemstones are. These are, are not cheap. These are exquisitely paved. You know, a lot of times hair accessories are just for kids. These are ones that are meant for an adult. These are way too elegant and sophisticated for kids. And I have to tell you, these are the kind that if y'all know my style, I even personally would wear. So why just limit your jewelry to your face and neck and hand? Why not have basically what it equates to some hair jewelry? Okay, last call on these. But they are super easy to put on. They hold the hair nice and easily. Okay, next I've got one that works similarly. Um, it's also going to be $5, but it has a big swirl in it. Imagine if this were holding a ponytail. I think this would be super pretty for a ponytail. And you'll see it kind of looks like a sun. Oh, thank you, Karen. Well, I wanted something that people would know was going to be uh, clean and new and safe um, rather than using an actual person. So because all of the hair implements that I'm selling are new, I'm taking them out of the package to show y'all here. And for those girls who love pink, here is a pink one, still $5. Clearly, I am not a hairstylist. <laughs> but look how gorgeous the pink one is. Talk about pretty in pink. And just look at how fabulously faceted these stones are. You know, they didn't have to use faceted stones, but yet the workmanship was so excellent that they did. And this is the first time I am showing some of these. Okay, let me show you a totally different type of hair implement that I had never seen before. Have y'all ever seen one like this? Now, once again, it is beautifully studded. If you want something that sparkles with Aurora Borealis, here you go. It is super sparkly. Great for going to church. Great for a night out, for prom, for a beauty pageant, for a wedding. But let me show you how it works. It's got all these grippers in here, and this is to make a gourmet ponytail. So let me gather the hair up. Easy peasy. You're going to undo it here at the bottom. You wrap it around, and then you latch it here. There we go. Oops. Let it not fall backwards. I'm losing it. There we go. Look how pretty it looks around the ponytail. Super upscale way of doing a ponytail. You know, sometimes as women, we think, oh, ponytail, schmoney tail. Um, it's not really a hairstyle. It's just getting hair back from our eyes. But this is a way that ponytail could be red carpet fabulous. 
or if you're afraid to wear a ponytail that you're just going to look like a little kid because I worry about that sometimes. This is a way that, that wearing a can become fabulous. Well, I'll show y'all one last way and then we'll do something other than hair accessories. Maybe this isn't a hair accessories crowd. And if so, I respect that. Here is the last one. Look at this fabulous clip. It's got a butterfly. It's got all of these crystals. And you're saying, well, how do you use it? Can you just stick it in? Well, I guess you could just stick it in. But I'll show you how I would use it. I think it would be fabulous with a braid. So let me see if I can show y'all. I am not good with hair, by the way. I like put my hair in a messy bun every day. So if this is your braid, and I just keep pulling this wig off the stand. So this is your braid. And obviously y'all would do it much better than I do it. Back on here. And look how great it looks if you just stick it in at the top. Oops. Look how pretty it is just sticking into the braid. So pretty. And with something falling because that just always happens here on the Southern Bell Channel. Okay, last call. I guess this isn't a hair crowd. That's fine. At least y'all knew I was trying something different. But y'all let me know the kind of you'd like to see. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, let's do $2 for choice. We'll go to some stickers. So I've got some puffy stickers right here. You get two sheets, 24 stickers. There's stickers for Halloween. So that will be the first choice. Here's the second ones. Look, they have googly eyes. How fun is that? And last but not least, you get three sheets of these holographic ones. So looking for $2 starting bid for these new sealed stickers. Okay, we will pass on the stickers then. Next, I want to show you this beautiful wreath. It says trick or treat. It's got this cute little um, scarecrow to it. Let me move the camera back. We're going to start this one at seven bucks. And y'all remember that we'll be having a clearance round at the end of the show. So looking for seven dollars.
any interest. Okay, we are passing on this. Next, I've got these gorgeous holographic pumpkins. Look at all of the different colors. I'm going to start this at five bucks. And I just think that these are gorgeous. Once again, here's another one. And you can see it's kind of purple, kind of pink, kind of gold. You've got some blue. You've got some greens. If you're looking for one that's going to pick up all kinds of different colors of your decor, it will absolutely do that. And these are acrylic. So they're not going to be super heavy to mail. They're going to be light. Oh, you can absolutely drop them because they're acrylic. So I will show some uh, glass ones after this. Um, but these are no worry, no muss, no fuss. If you've got pets, if you've got kids, they will survive. These are basically indestructible. Looking for $5 for choice? I've never seen any that have all these colors and are holographic before. I thought that these were so interesting and cutting edge. Any interest? Okay, we will pass on those. Let me show you the ones that are glass so you can see they are super upscale. Let me just carefully unwrap them here. Okay, these are going to be $5 for choice. Here is the first one. It is green and it's glass. This was originally 10 bucks, but I'm going to start this at just five. And yes, it is glass. Also, I have one in ceramic. This one is ceramic. It was originally 10 bucks. It's by threshold. And I think these are gorgeous. So half price. Any interest? Okay, we pass then. Oops. Okay, next I have a Lumbaro. Do you ever need just a small pillow you can add to your desk chair? Or maybe it's a kitchen chair. This is just a, a little one. And let me show you how it works on the back. Um, so it stretches so it can go around that chair. I'm going to start this one at $5. So by the band stretching, it will work with any chair, a desk chair, an office chair, uh, a dining room chair, any chair. So if you just need that little bit of cushion in the small of your bag, this could absolutely be that remedy. So it just gives you that little bit of cushion and it's beautifully concave. Let's see if there's any interest.
Okay, we will pass on the pillow then. Next, have you ever been watching those cooking shows and you see that the olive oil or the balsamic vinaigrette or any of their bottles that they take off the bland little screw caps and they have these fancy pour spouts? Um, I'm not sure if I need to open this to show it to you. I don't want to touch it, but there is an inner and outer wrapper. So this is what it looks like, but it makes it so easy to pour. And it has this little lever where you see you open it here, but when you push it down, it's completely closed. So air isn't getting into it to make it rancid. This to me would make it so much easier to use because let's face it, a lot of pans will stick. You need some kind of olive oil, vegetable oil or something just so stuff doesn't stick. So this kind of pour spout is going to make it easier. Um, I'm going to start this at two bucks. I've got two of these. So let's see if anybody else thinks that twisting off their little screw cap for their olive oil or balsamic vinaigrette or even Worcestershire um, might be a good, handy idea. So looking for a $2 starting bid. any interest. Okay, we can pass on this. Next, I have a um, handy dandy gadget to make life easier. I found this at the liquidator this week, and I had been uh, looking at these somewhere else, but it just wasn't affordable. So, and then I saw this, and I'm like, wait, I've been looking at that. Do y'all know what this is? It's a cleaner for the grooves, the grooves in your um, oscillating fan, the grooves by the kitchen sink or the uh, stove, the grooves by your windowsill. And there is a groove cleaner on the other side. So I'm going to start this at three bucks because it is to clean those grooves. It'll just get right in there. And this whole thing is squeezy. So $3. I only have one of these because it's not something I could order. It's just something I found at the liquidator. So I am always just at their beck and call to see what they happen to have from week to week. But I thought that this might solve some problem that somebody has. So let's see if there's any interest. Okay, we can pass on this. Next, how about another cute piece of um, Halloween decor? Okay, next I've got this cute metal sign. Uh, it's got a rope hanger to it. And here's the bag. Just so you know, it's metal, so it's not going to be super heavy. And look, it's got one, two, three pumpkins. This would be so great for somebody who be, has three kids or mom, dad, and baby. I just think this is adorable. We're going to start this at five bucks. This is a one and done. There's no multiples. When it sells, that's all there is.
Okay, any interest in this hanging metal sign? We'll do a few more items and then we'll have a clearance at the end of the show. So be thinking about what items you'd like to see back up to be clearance. Okay, we're going to pass. Next, it's going to be $2 for choice. The first choice is this mason jar mug or just mason jar. It's got a beautiful pumpkin etched into it. The top also has pumpkins. And rather than being gold, it's kind of a rose gold, bronze, copper kind of color. So super cute. The other choice is going to be this I Love Fall Most of All mug with this cute truck. And the truck is trucking in pumpkins. So those are going to be the two choices. Looking for $2 starting bid. And the mug is brand new, as is the mason jar. Any interest? Okay, we're going to pass. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Karen was bidding. Okay, Karen's bidding. Well, let's start counting this down so that Karen can do some picking. Two great choices between a ceramic mug, and I'm going to show it's printed on both sides, as well as the mason jar. Thank you, Shelby. Well, Lita, let's count this down to Karen, please. Or if Lisa isn't here, Shelby, count it down. Oh, there's Lisa. Thank you so much. And we'll see which one or ones she wants to pick each are a one and done there are no multiples Thank you so much, Mr. Adventure. Glad to know you're still watching. I think you mean sold to Karen. I believe Kathy already went to bed. Okay, Karen's going for the mason jar. All right, anybody else for the I Love Fall most of all? Last call for the mug. Okay, we're sold to Karen. Okay, I've got a three piece set of these cute coffee signs. I can get the glare off of it. Uh, the first one says drink coffee and do good. Then we have a coffee bar, espresso yourself. And the last one says, but first, coffee. So looking for a $3 starting bin.
Okay, so you're getting a set of three coffee signs. Think how cute this would look in your coffee area, or maybe you have um, an area in your kitchen, or maybe you have a little breakfast nook area. These could even work in an uh, office break room. Any interest? Okay, we will pass on that. Next, to those of you who love plants, we're going to start these out at five bucks. Look at these darling pots. Um, not only are they painted super cute, but look at these charms. They have bats, they have ghosts. Um, we're going to start this at five dollars for choice. This is the orange with black, but here is the black with orange. So this one has pumpkins. It has candy corn. I'm looking at $5 for choice. Let me back this up so you can see these. You can see in comparison to my hand, they're a nice size. And you can just drop your plants in them. And this is going to be the last item before we start the clearance. But I'll give this a minute to see if anybody wants to bid on these. Also want to show you this one has the motif of a black cat. This one has the motif of a um, fictitious woman with a hat. Uh, we don't say that word here at the Southern Bell Show. So I'm just going to say fictitious woman with a hat. Any interest? Okay, who is interested in the clearance round? I know a lot of y'all got tired and had to go to bed. I understand many people just just rewatch this round and make orders from it. So, but that doesn't hurt my feelings. If y'all couldn't tune in and you just skip, skip, skip to the clearance round to get the bargains. After all, that's why there's a replace. So I totally get that. I tell you what, let's start here. Let's drop these pots to four bucks. But I have to tell you, I have never seen pots where they had holes drilled in them and they had charms. This makes me want to try to duplicate this for Easter and for Christmas and for every other time when you can put in um, these cute little charms. I just think that it is the greatest idea ever. Okay, Karen's in for four. Now, I only have one of each one. They're each a one and done. So in the clearance round, everything is a buy it now. So there's no bidding, and I'm not going to go back and reshow every item. So when you say that you want it, you're buying it now. And so let me know that uh, which one you're buying or what quantity. These are both a one and done. Okay, Karen's going for both. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think she's ever going to find another one, so it's good that she picked them up while they were available. Okay, um, any suggestions from the audience of things that they would like me to reduce the price on? I absolutely take audience suggestions, so y'all don't be shy. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick stuff. Okay, I have this two-pack of these really thick um, pumpkins. You could paint these. You could bedazzle these. You could do anything to them. I was asking $5 for the two-pack because they are huge, by the way. Here's my ruler. And you know the rulers, 12 inches. I had these at five bucks. I'm going to take them down to three. Three bucks for a two pack of the super thick wooden pumpkins. I do have multiples of these. 
So if anybody is interested, we're lowering it to $3 for a set of two. Okay, next I had uh, this huge 24 count of the mini pumpkins where you can fill them with treats. You could fill them with clues for a scavenger hunt. You get 24. Um, I'm going to take these down to from $3 to $2. Such a fun activity. So the 24 counts of scavenger hunt prizes that look like um, miniature pumpkins. We're going down to two bucks for them. Okay, let's see. What else? Okay, I tell you what. We had this fancy metal sign. Um, I was asking $5 for this. It still looks like mama baby, mama daddy baby. Um, I'm taking this down to three bucks. I had it at five, taking it down to three bucks. Okay, Joanne wanted the wooden pumpkins. How many sets did you want? Just one. Okay, great. Glad you stuck around for the end so you could get some good deals on these passes. Okay, we're going to pass on this sign. All right, I have these beautiful, fancy tapestry runners. Do y'all remember these? I was asking $6 for these. We're going to go down to five. So let me remind you of the choices. We had the pumpkin one, which looks like this. And it says open daily. Or home sweet home, which had pumpkins and apples. And looks like this. Or last but not least, for those of you who love the truck motif, look how the license plate says fall. And it's got pumpkins in the back. Um, this is how it looks. This is going to be your third choice. And five bucks. So for pumpkin, for home sweet home, or for the truck motif. And once again, Joanne, we are so glad that you came and you're adding to your order. Okay, any requests from the audience? I love to pick things that y'all are interested in. I'll clearance a few more things before our auction's over. Okay, I had this lumbar pillow. I'm so tempted to keep this for myself, but we were asking $5 for it. I'm going to take it down to four. Four. And remember the, um, it's adjustable. So it's going to go around any chair. Next, I had this wreath. We were asking $7 for this. I gotta tell you, I love the dangly legs. The dangly legs, I just think are cute as a button. Um, even though I was asking seven, I'm gonna plummet it down to five. Plummet the wreath down to five. Okay, I had five, I had rolls of 500 stickers. I thought it was a pretty good price of $5 for 500 stickers, but I guess y'all didn't. So I'm going to plummet this down to three bucks. So here's the first choice. Here is the second choice. 
And this is the biggest choice. It's a little bit bigger. So three bucks for these rolls of 500 stickers. Anything else y'all want to reduce the price on speak or forever hold your peace. Okay, Karen's in for three. Uh, which, which one? Or, or ones are you buying? Thank you so much, Karen. Which one or ones are you buying? Oh, the big roll. Okay, these go into Karen. Anybody else? Any other requests of things that you would like to clearance? Anything else? Okay, if not, then I... I want to thank everybody for joining me. And I say, laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your soul. 